everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maddie and I've been a writer and content creator for over 10 years now. I started this channel because I really just wanted to try lifestyle vlogging, so if you're interested in all things productivity, wellness, inspiration, and just plain lifestyle vlogs, definitely subscribe because I think you'll really enjoy it. So I just recently turned 20 and in this vlog, I take you along for everything fun that I did on my 20th birthday. I drove 45 minutes away to St. Petersburg to try out a gluten-free bakery that I'd never tried tried before but it was on my bucket list for a long time to try out. I also go to this really cool restaurant again that I've been wanting to try and it, you eat right by the bayside. It's it's really cool. You guys will see. I also have this tradition where I read a letter that my past self wrote to myself and then I write a letter for me to read on my next birthday. So I take you guys all along with me for that as well. It's going to be really cool. So without further ado, let's go straight into my 20th birthday vlog. Oh and subscribe if you haven't already. Since we have a 40 minute drive, I brought this little gift that one of my best online friends, Olive, sent me. So I'm just gonna open it here in the back. I have no idea what's inside, literally no idea. Your guess is as good as mine for what this huge pink package could be. I did bring some scissors, so let's open this together. Okay, I got the package open. All we can see here is this, looks like some packing material. Oh wait, no, that is the gift. Don't know what this could be. Look how pretty this is. She packaged this so well. Look how gorgeous that is. I'm about to send a message to my friend and tell her thank you so much for the gift. But all of, if you're watching this, which I know you are because you watched all of them so far, thank you. Thank you so much for the wonderful little gifts. I love them so much and I'm literally gonna eat this candy right now. just got back from my wonderful little birthday day out. Wow, that is very bright. I hope my neighbors aren't mad. I'm gonna take a little selfie by their beautiful crepe myrtles that they have in their front yard. It matches my dress perfectly, so I wanted to take a really quick little selfie photo shoot. All right, I gotta make this quick. I'm back and I was successful. See the little beautiful crepe myrtle tree flower book thing? Anyway, this is so bright. How can I find a place better? You know what, I'm gonna sit. This is a much better place. But yeah, we went to a place called Salt Shack. It was so beautiful. You ate right next to the bay, I think. And it was so nice, so pretty. I got another mocktail. It honestly wasn't as good as some other mocktails I've had, um, but it was pretty good. And then before that, obviously we went to that gluten-free bakery. Then everything there was also like vegan as well and like nut-free, soy-free. So it was a lot of things free, but these were really good. We got a lot of really good goodies. We also stopped and got coffee. So we went to this really healthy place there. It was pretty good. I was pretty full though. And what I got was like a protein espresso shake. So it was very thick and filling and I was feeling so full. So I ended up just getting literally like a, an espresso shot just so I could get um, that kind Caffeine, my eyeliners rubbing off. It's always on this eye. What is going on? But that place was like in this beautiful, like an apartment complex, but townhomes. Then it had like a lot of shops there as well and a gym. It was so aesthetic and tropical and beautiful and pretty and modern and gorgeous. I honestly think I'm gonna live there one day. Anyway, my brother is at a summer youth internship at our church right now. He has work tonight as well. So he wasn't able to celebrate with us today, but he will be home later tonight. So we are gonna watch either one of my favorite movies or or just a movie that we find that looks cool. We're gonna order uh, my favorite food, Japanese food, later tonight, and then obviously all of our bakery goodies as well. But yeah, that is what I'll be doing tonight. 
after we got home from our day out in St. Petersburg, we kind of just waited around for my brother to get back from his youth internship thing and work. When he got back, we ate our Japanese food that we ordered and then we watched an action movie together. I had a really fun day. I spent a lot of my day also just replying to messages from a lot of you guys wishing me happy birthday. Those messages were so sweet and they made me feel so special and loved. So thank you guys so much for all your sweet birthday wishes and making my birthday so special. So right now it is 11.31 p.m. I'm quickly filming this because I always do a tradition. I've been doing this since I was about 13 or 14. I don't remember if it was my 13th birthday that I started doing this or my 14th. I think it was my 13th. So what I do is I read a letter that my past self wrote to me on the last birthday and then I write a letter to my future self to read on the next birthday. And so I've been doing that throughout the years. I wanted to film it for you guys and take you along with me on reading my birthday message. Where I keep this is in my calendar. So I have an event in my calendar on my birthday, you know, repeating. And then the notes is where I write my letter to myself to read on my next birthday. Because I'm filming on my phone, I just have this on my laptop right here. So I have my calendar pulled up and then I have my birthday event and I'm gonna go ahead and read the letter. I have not read this since my 19th birthday last year. I'm gonna be reading it for the first time with all of you guys. So here we go. Maddie, congrats on turning 20. I, your newly 19 year old self, am so proud of you. I've learned this past year to always, in all caps, go for it. Follow that peace and joy and what God has for you. It'll turn out so wonderfully because you're following that peace and joy. It's what's right. You can trust him because he's so, so good and will always make it up to you. Go for it. I'm so proud of you. Always have adventures and go for it. Take the chance and face the fear and just take that chance and see what all caps amazing adventures come about. Heart emoji, mountain emoji, pink sparkly emoji, airplane emoji, crossed swords emoji. Okay, let me explain the emojis. The mountain emoji to me symbolizes adventure, which is one of my favorite things in literally the whole entire world. The crossed swords emoji is the symbol for not only my novel series, which is historical fiction set in Japan, so it has a lot of like samurai and stuff, but also symbolizes like strength and being a warrior and just the strength and the fight that's needed to overcome things in life. So anyway, that was my letter that my 19 year old self wrote to my 20 year old self. And now my newly 20 year old self is going to write a letter for me to read in a year on my 21st birthday. So I'll go ahead and write that. I just finished writing my letter to myself. It had a little bit of a different energy than newly 19 year old Maddie wrote to me, which just, you know, like reflects like the journey I've been on. I finished writing my letter to me in the future for when I turn 21. Um, and I'm really excited to see what my life turns out to be so I can like look back on this letter and like fulfill my hopes and desires for what I want for 21 year old Maddie. Am I gonna share it? when I turn 21. You'll have to stay tuned so you'll see that <laughs> when I turn 21. But yeah, it is now 11.50 p.m. Thank you so much for watching my 20th birthday vlog. Thanks for coming along and celebrating with me. I can't wait to make new videos soon for you guys. And if you want to be notified when I upload my next one, you can hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment because I would love to hear from you. I reply to all comments. Thanks so much once again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!